each chapter, Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. The Great Book of Nature is open at another chapter. I'm going to tell you a story about a rooster. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock a doodle doo doodle -doo, doo doo Yes, good morning, my friends. Good morning to all. It's a splendid morning, don't you think? Good morning to you, Mr. Rooster. Thanks for waking us up, Mr. Rooster. Punctual as always. Of course, it's my job. I have a beautiful voice and, in addition, a strong sense of obligation. For goodness sake, who's making all that noise? It is really disturbing. It's making me ill. I mean, really. Hey, that bark of yours is a dangerous weapon. You should have it registered. You've ruptured my eardrums. Why? Do you think your cock a doodle is pleasing to the ear? My voice happens to be considered a national treasure, I'll have you know. Just listen. Cock a doodle doo! Yes, cock a doodle doo! Stop! I beg you, shut up! Oh, look over there, that big rooster. It's so fat and tasty. Listen, stop bragging. Hey, I don't need to brag. Just don't start it again, please. I mean, come on, how can you take that tone with me? My voice, besides being useful, is bold and beautiful, while yours is ugly. Woof, woof. I warn when danger's lurking. Oh, we're looking for a little pat on the back, are we? All right. You do it so well, my little canine pal. At least you acknowledge that fact. Your bark is just perfect for that kind of work. Halt, who goes there? Woof, woof, you know what I mean? <laughs> In fact, you want to know the truth. Any self-respecting bad guy is sure to run away. Of course, not because he's frightened, but because he can't stand that noise any longer. <laughs> Mr. Rooster, I'm not going to listen to another word you say. You just don't appreciate what the rest of us do. If I may be so bold, uh, your day wouldn't even start if it weren't for me. Oh, dear. All that overconfidence will get him nothing but trouble. Rooster is easy prey. I just wait for that dog to get lost. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Rooster. Uh, How are you? Oh, help. A fox. A killer fox. Oh, help. Oh, help, help. A killer fox. Help, help. Relax. Please, it 
wasn't my intention to scare you. I, I approached you only because I was told that you have the most beautiful voice. I just want to hear your wonderful singing. I have no bad intention. I do not believe you. Please trust me. I'm, I'm not like the other foxes. Give me a break. Who are you kidding? No, really. I'm actually a romantic singer myself. I'll show you. <laughs> Listen to this. What a beautiful life this is. From evening till sunset, circled always by friends, drinking and eating and sunset. I sing with a joyful heart. I have to admit, those are some fairly decent pipes. Hey, would you like me to sing a few bars for you? I could, you know, my middle name is Luciano. No problem, really. Oh, it would be an honor for me to hear a great maestro like yourself. Please. <coughs> cock a doodle doo the freshness of morning dew. My wonderful voice delights hearts oh, above all. All oh, 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 way to goodness. my beautiful call. And as they rise to the sweetness of the sounds, yes, they go on with their day, and happiness abounds. All rise, happy and content, facing the day, a smiling cock a doodle doos are heaven sent. The joy is evident. Hey, what's the matter? You don't like my voice? Boys? Come on, Fox got your time. To, to, to tell you the truth, I have a problem. I, I, I can't hear you very well. I can't distinguish those wonderful notes. Come a little closer. Oh, now, look at that. A cheap excuse to try and grab me. That is crafty. All right, you convinced me. I know how deplorable these lousy forest acoustics can be. I'll be right there. A command performance for my number one fan. Cock a doodle doo, the freshness of morning dew. Oh, I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I, I still can't hear you very well. Your singing is magnificent, I'm sure, but to my ears, it's like the distant buzzing of a mosquito. It does you no justice at all. Oh, you have a hearing problem. Well, I'm not one to disappoint the handicapped. <clears throat> My wonderful voice delights hearts above all with oh, the freshness right. of that's morning. Wonderful. Dew. I hear you perfectly well now. <clears throat> so tell me, now that you've heard me live, isn't it better than my CD? Your voice is as sweet and as pure as honey. It fills me with joy and the urge to dance. While listening to you, my legs start to move. I, I can't stop them. I've never heard anything so beautiful before. You're wonderful. Simply wonderful. Naturally, I would not consider competing with someone of your immense class, but I seem to be Hey, I just had a great idea of a rooster and Fox Show! In the lights, hearts of my wonderful voice, the freshness of morning, of all, all with, with the freshness of morning, morning. all wing to a beautiful girl. Take it away, Foxy! Invent a rise to the sweetness of that sound. Happiness abounds. All rise. <laughs> And the heavens and the joy of heaven and all right, happy and content. Facing the day, a smile is yours again, Foxy. Heaven and the joy of life is heavy. Gotcha! Oh. <laughs> help! Help! Oh, help! Help! The fox wants to eat me! Oh, 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 oh help! <laughs> Someone! Anyone! Somebody help me! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
I'm not kidding. <laughs> The fox was trying to get me, but I finished him off first. <laughs> Are you? Are you sure? I saw him drown. What are you saying? Yes, that's what happens when you cut swim class, and now he's fish food. Cock a doodle do. <laughs> well, eh? I was underwater swim champ three years running at Fox High. Booster. I'll show him who ends up as fox food. Hm. I hope it's like you say. But the fox is very clever. And most likely he tricked you. He's probably hiding somewhere, waiting to strike at the right moment. Okay, pull the wax out of your ears, Fred, and sit down and listen to what I have to say. The fox was totally infatuated with my voice. He started following. Slobbering all over the place. He was totally green with envy and wanted to make me lunch. So I started towards the lake, and with an extremely clever move on my part, I made him fall into the water. Now, have you grasped the global significance of the aforementioned event? I got diddly dang do. Foxy bit off more than he could chew. You can believe whatever you like, but I'm alive and he's feeding the pike. I must find a way to get that dog away from the farm. Life will be much easier without that fox, my friend. Big shot that dropped me in the lake, is that so? Well, now you have your just desserts. Let's see your boast about this. And while we're on the subject, let me just say that I think your singing stinks. Yes, I know you wake up the world. I know we can't do without your kind, but you, my friend, have cock -a doodled your last two. You're about to make a voluntary contribution <laughs> to the Federation for famished foxes. It's a worthwhile cause, don't you think? A cause close to my heart. <laughs> oh, I certainly agree. And since your victory is complete, Will you grant me one tiny, teeny weeny last wish before I die, please? What? A last wish? No, 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 no. Last wishes are not in the rule book. No. Uh, 
I beg you. I can tell you're really a good fox at heart, and, and I think you're a great singer with tremendous potential. <laughs> Please, <laughs> show a little kindness. What's it gonna cost you? Please, one last wish. Don't worry, it's only a little wish. I'd like to delight you with one last song. Oh, all right. It'll give me heartburn if I don't. But make it quick. Thank you. Help, 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 help me. Help. That's enough, you dirty swindler. Now you're going to pay for taking advantage of my generosity, too. No one else crafts a fox and gets away with it. <laughs> Federation doesn't allow last wishes prepared for the digestion. You wouldn't want that. I am sick and tired of hearing that stupid song of yours. Then to think I have to sing it myself. I hope no one hurt me. I'm a very sensitive person, you know, and we foxes can be so cruel to each other. Even the chance. <laughs> Me and my stupid pride. It'll never happen again, my friends. Believe me. I hope what you're saying is true. One should never believe that he or she is better or more important than the others. We're all different in our ways, yet we are all important. I hope you truly understand that. Oh, I do. I do. Cock a diddly dang do! Oh, yeah. United we stand. The rooster. How is the rooster classified in the animal kingdom? The rooster is a bird belonging to the Galliformes order, to the Phasianidae family, and to the Gallus genus. 
the male's large fleshy appendages on its head, its crest, wattles, and earlobes are much more developed than in the female, and its feet have long pointed spurs. How many species are there, and where do they live? Four species belong to the Gallus genus. From one of these, the jungle fowl of the Gallus gallus species, is descended the domestic chicken, which is found all over the world in a large number of breeds raised for their meat and for the eggs produced by the female. How do they live? Small flocks of chickens governed by a strict pecking order have a dominant rooster who defends the females and his territory from other roosters. How do they move? Roosters walk around constantly pecking at the ground in search of food. Often they take dust baths to rid themselves of the parasites that nest among their feathers. What do they eat? Roosters are grain-eating birds with a marked preference for wheat, but they also enjoy insects and worms which they peck out of the ground. How do they protect themselves? Their only defense against their natural predators, such as the fox, the beech marten, and other carnivores, is to try and escape. However, roosters engage in spectacular fights with each other to win over the females. How do they relate to people? They have no rapport with people, since the species is raised almost exclusively as a source of food. Can they live in the city? Yes if there are suitable conditions for raising them. Well, have you all learned a lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is don't think too much of yourself or you may live to regret it. <laughs> oh, look who's coming!